Okay. Coming to you from the quarterfinals of the TJ's Titanium Series. Turn two. Already, wow, these guys are fast. Kevin Liu on the left playing Titan Shift versus Thomas Davies on the right, who we haven't had all day. He's playing Eldrazi Tron. He has a Thought Knot. And he sees a pretty stacked hand. Wow. Scape Shift, Scape Shift. Titan, Titan. Uh, a little slow, though, isn't it? No real ramp for Kevin Liu. So he just has to say go. Titan Shift is a great deck, but it's not the most consistent thing in the world. It's kind of predicated on drawing ramp. Walking Ballista for Thomas. He's got a clock. Kevin's at 16. Oh, wow. But look at this. Two lands represents prime time next turn. Thomas finds Urza Tron. Eight mana. Chalice on four. Chalice on four? Ch wait, 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 wait. Chalice on four? Is this modern or is this commander? Wow, okay. The Lightning Bolt takes out the Ballista, but the Thought Knot gets him for 4 plus 2. Kevin is at 8. Um, Scape Shift cannot be cast, right? But... Wow, he gets a Forest. Interesting decision to get a Forest. Uh, okay. And not a Cinder Blade. Okay, okay. Um... So primetime comes down. Primetime's going to get Balakut, Balakut. The mountain count must already be five, or else there's no reason to get forest. That's a big misplay if there aren't five mountains in play. But I think there are. Kevin's played this deck a lot. I trust him on that. So five mountains in play. Wooded Foothills does represent a three damage trigger. Thomas tapping seven. I'm interested to see what he has. Karn Liberated would be sick, of course. Kevin Liu is at four life. All his dust takes out prime time. Thought not cracks in, but Mountain going to trigger Valakut and then the other Valakut taking out the Thought Knot, drawing a card from Thought Knot's trigger, untapping. Two Valakuts in play now. Third Valakut. No, he hasn't thinking about it. Third Valakut. Prime time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. So this is going to trigger Valakut six times. Or to be more precise, each Valakut three, uh, two times. Three Valakuts twice for a total of 18 damage to the dome. Thomas is at two. Ulamog. Okay, Ulamog. Takes out two Valakuts, but I see. So all Valakut's now removed. Thomas just has to pray, hope, and pray that Kevin only plays three Valakut's like most decks, right? Most Titan decks only play three Valakut's. He's going to be disappointed, though, because Kevin Liu has four Valakut's. Counter. Attack. Fourth Valakut. Boom. Fourth Valakut. Taking away Thomas's last two life. 
you know, it's the fourth bell tip that gets you, I guess. So, Tom Davies. First time he's been on camera today. Apologies to you, Tom. You just kind of slipped through the cracks. Can't feature everybody. Already down a game. Unfortunate. So, looking forward to post board games. Davies, who lost game one. He has a few things. A few things. Pithing needles for fetch lands. Probably worth it, to be honest, since he's on the play. You can name wooded foothills and just have a, a free chance to mana screw your opponent. Uh, a lot better than dismember. You know, uh, a, a lot better than some of these cards that just are really going to be ineffectual. Basilisk collar. Batter skull. Bring in Mind Slaver. That's going to be okay. Uh, most impactful, though, would be the Surgical Extraction. Because if you can get a Valka in the yard and then Surgical it, you take out most ways Kevin has to win the deck. Non-combat ways. So that's what Tom has. The other side of things, Mystery Lou. Acidic Slime. And that's about it. Ways to kill artifacts if he is worried about something like Chalice. I don't think he will be, but you never know. Kevin Liu played this deck a lot. He played a lot of Titan Shift. Plays it at every event. It's legal. Which is every event. For everyone who's watching this on YouTube, uh, I appreciate it. Appreciate you checking out the TJ Titanium YouTube page, checking out the Facebook, the Twitter, all that good stuff. Watching the Snapchat videos and pictures from our events. If no one watched, we wouldn't make it. So we appreciate that. Here we are. Game two, we're underway. We're deep underway. Look at this. Walking Ballista into Thought Knot, 2-3. Uh, Kevin only had Explore. Escape Ship stripped from his hand. So the combo card is gone. Let's see what he's got. I think I saw a couple Sakuras. Yep. Sakura, Sakura. Sakura, baby. So why don't you kill me? Looks like only one blocks. The other one is going to stick around for future chumping of Thought Knot. Kevin Liu takes six. He'll be in the vicinity of 12 life. He's going to do a little shortcutting. He says, I don't really want to shuffle because I'm going to just shuffle again. He's not going to search. He's not going to shuffle after summons tapped either because, hey, he's just going to shuffle again. The shortcutting is really important with the Valakit decks, with the Primeval Titan decks. On the off chance your match goes long, you can't be spending time every single shuffle. You can't go upkeep, search for tomorrow, shuffle, wooded foothills, shuffle, summer tech, shuffle, prime time, shuffle, search, shuffle, skirt, shuffle. Yeah, you got you to gotta know when to shortcut. And Tom's fine with it, so he's going to let him. My apologies on these gentlemen's records. Getting those updated for you now. Kevin 402 in the top eight. Tom 411 in the top eight. Both picked up four wins. Yeah. 
So with uh, Sakura on the stack, Kevin Lou's getting ghost quartered twice. So he's going to get two basics into play. Forced, forced, maybe. And don't forget about your Sakura Tri Builder, Kevin. Did Kevin forget about Sakura Tri Builder? Okay, good. Good, good, good. I should know better than to doubt Kevin Liu. He's played this deck a bunch. He does get to mount and thin it out a little bit. He's like, all right, I still have enough mountains to win. Upkeep. Pays for summoner's pack. Cast another one. Prime time. Land, fetch, land, prime time, fetch, Aaron Valakuts, perhaps, yep, boy, watching the Titan shift deck work, brutal stuff, yeah, and he's got four, eight, twelve lands in play versus opponents, two, an expedition map, uncracked, Represents a ghost quarter, but like I was saying before, it's the last Valakut that gets you. Kevin's decision to play four looks pretty good right about now. Ah, okay, he gets a he gets a temple anyway. Kevin pays for pack. Prime time swings. Thomas is like, oh my god, how many mountains are left in this guy's deck? The answer is a lot. A lot of mountains. Okay, two at the Thought Knot. Two at you. Take 12. Now, if Thomas can somehow play Ghost Quarter, Ghost Quarter, and a Kill Spell, he's in good shape. But I'm not sure what magic card does that. Oh, there it is. Scape Shift. Scoopy, scoopy. Game over. Tom Davies. I'm sorry about your short feature match. I'm sorry that we only featured you once. And I'm sorry that you got brutalized. But that's magic, isn't it? Pretty anemic draw from Tom game two. Primetime does what primetime does. Just beat up on any opponent trying to play five mana spells. First prime time, you either have to play one mana spells or you have to play 12 mana spells. One, uh, five mana nonsense, not going to cut it. Just not going to cut it. Mind Slaver would have been pretty good. Like I said, 10 mana spell against prime time. That's good. So congrats to Kevin Liu. He's one step closer to getting an invite to the Titanium finals next January he has to win two more matches Tom we're having another one in May and another one in June and another one in July and another one in August and another one in September all the way to next January you got plenty of chance to qualify not to mention the Titanium Plus events, the next one of which is in July. Huge tournament. $5,000 at minimum given away. Can be bumped up to ten or 15000 depending on attendance. As well as Second Chance and Legacy. So lots of chances to qualify. Check out that on the Facebook page if you're interested. As it is, we're going to move on to the semifinals. Thanks for watching.